What's up? What's this? PSA return? Who threw that? What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have, as you guys saw on in the intro, someone threw our uh, PSA return. I don't know, really know who it was. I don't know why, but uh, we got a PSA return. We also have a giveaway, three original starter deck cards. All you have to do, like this video, be subscribed, let me know your favorite card that was graded, and let's get into it. So these cards were from the Magic Ruler opening on Whatnot. So before we get into it, last time when I did the Pharaoh Servant opening, we got all those eights. People were like, why did you grade those super rares? They're not worth very much. On Whatnot, if they won a specific pack, they could have their card graded. And it didn't matter like if it was a $50 card or like the secret rare. Um, so everything got graded out of this one. So I know a lot of the cards are not worth the $200 price tag, probably even if they get the 10s. But that's why they were graded. So there's the FYI, so you guys know. Let's go ahead and open this box up, and let's get into these graded cards. We have six graded cards today, so this is going to be pretty nice. It's a whole box of Magic Ruler, basically, all the foil pulls. So, uh, first of all, if you didn't see the video where we opened that, check it out. We put the replay up on YouTube, so let's go ahead and uh, do that. And uh, if you don't follow me on Whatnot, check me out there. We haven't done a stream in a while, but we're going to be back soon. We got this thing open. Let's pull it out. Oh, that, not that way. This way, I think. Yeah, this way for the six cards. Let's see. So it's already looking like it might be a rough start. Check out this case. Bruh. Yeah, unfortunate. So let's uh, see if we can get that off. And uh, yeah, so that's that's not a great start. So we have four super rares. We have two ultra rares. All right, yeah, you guys can see there is some crap on the case. We don't love to see that. Let's see what we can do. Okay, what what is this card, though? I will say who got everything. Okay, Black Pendant. This one was from Speziality on Whatnot. So he actually has three of these cards. And then First Ed has two cards. And Trip to My Lou has one card. So let's see. We have a Black Pendant. The centering is... Well, this junk everywhere. Pretty good. Pretty good on the centering. Back if we avoid all that junk everywhere. I mean, there's just stuff everywhere, which is unfortunate to see. We don't, we don't like that. Um, looks pretty good. This might have a 10 chance. We will see. Ooh, a mint nine. Okay, let's see. What's the issue here? Hmm. Maybe it's, uh, corners. I think corners have been doing us in on some of this stuff. I'm still trying to figure out a lot of things, like why they're getting what they got. And, uh, like that Blue Eyes tune, I know a lot of people, I never, like, said what it was, but it had a dent in it. I did find it finally. It was very hard to see, though, so it was really tough. Okay, um... Not too sure. A nine. Not too sure what it is. It's really hard to tell through those slabs. So let's let's go to the next one. Let's see if we can get another. Well, a ten. A ten for the first time. So we have confiscation. Centering is a little off on this one. Yeah, you guys see that? It's wider right here. It gets a little bit skinnier on the left. Okay, let's see. Okay, back looks okay. A lot cleaner in terms of like junk on the back, which is good. I'm going to guess a 9 based on the front centering. And it got a 10. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's interesting. Check this out. Alright, so you guys see the black pendant has better centering than the confiscation. So that's telling me that there's there's got to be something wrong with this. And then they're being lenient on centering. We're going to find out what the deal is. So there's already a 10. So that's speciality. So congrats on that. I mean, that's pretty awesome getting a 10, even if it's a little bit off center. Let's go to the next one. All right, we got Banisher. This is his last card. So we had three super rares. Let's check it out. And you got to remember, I know a lot in these PSA returns, there's always like, oh, the centering was so off and it got a 10. Like that just shows, you know, the other one should have been a 10 or whatever. It's like, it doesn't mean that necessarily. It just means they're not being very strict on centering on this, um, and so that's kind of not what we need to look for here. Let's check out and see if they have edge wear or anything. This guy looks really good, honestly. Like the front, the front centering is good. Obviously, it didn't really matter on the other one, but um, there's some scratching on the case. But I'm gonna go with a ten on this one. And this one got a nine. Okay, I'm I'm baffled. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Do you guys see anything wrong with this? I don't. I don't, to be honest. I don't see anything wrong with it. Okay, maybe... Am I wrong? Is this centering? No, centering's... Okay, maybe... 
So it's 60-40. If it's actually going by 60-40, that's a really big difference. And this is well within the centering. So that, that can't be it. I'm not seeing anything on the edges. You guys seeing anything? I'm seeing nothing. I'm seeing absolutely nothing. Wait, maybe there's a... Okay, you see that corner? It's not much, but it's... Uh, you know, that's just how they look, honestly. I don't see anything. I am, I am very confused right now. We know they're not super consistent always, but uh, this this is weird. I don't know why that's a nine, to be honest. I really don't. I, let's just keep going. I don't know what the next one's going to be. Okay, Black Illusion, this is for Trip to My Lou on Whatnot. So, so far, this is similar centering to the Confiscation. You guys see this? Let's see if I can show you guys. The thickness on the right, it's kind of hard to show. A little bit more thick on the right side than the left. So I would say that that, you know, it might be enough to make it an, a nine, like I thought before, and it got the ten. But as I said, the sixty forty is a lot more than you actually think. I didn't realize how much it was until someone showed me one the other day that they had measured, and it actually was within the parameters, and it looked way OC. So um, it is interesting to see that. So I mean, I almost want to go with the ten because I've been wrong every time, time so far. But I'm gonna go with the nine. I should have stuck with my gut. Okay, let's check this centering out. The centering is definitely much worse on the... So centering was definitely not like doxing, docking anything. Because if you see this, guys... I want somebody... I need somebody to do the pixels on this. I need uh, Lewis to do this for me. Because if you take a picture and you do like the pixels, you can see if it's exactly 60-40 or not. Which... Maybe this is right on the border. It looks really bad, though, to be honest. It looks really bad. I don't know. I, I don't know, honestly. That's weird. So it must be... There must be something either on the surface, like a little ding, or like some edge wear or something like that, that where they were like, okay, this needs to be a 9. And these, I guess, didn't have it. And they weren't really, like, you know, being super strict on the centering because... I mean, this, okay, when I look at this centering, it, okay, it's, it's not very good. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to know, guys. It's hard to know without being there. Um, and yeah, <laughs> we, we don't know. It's crazy. All right, next up is our first dead. He got both the ultra rares, which is insane. So now I have hope for his tins because I thought this was too off-centered, but this is about the similar centering. So I think that he does have a chance. If they're not grading the centering super, you know, strictly, then maybe, oh, you guys see that? Is that cut weird or is that just a reflection? It looks bad in that lighting, but I'm pretty sure that's like some sort of weird reflection. Or maybe that's, wait, we need to check. Wait, maybe these have it. Let's check this out. Yeah, it does have it. Wait, what about this one? Okay, never mind. That can't be anything. It must just be reflection because they all have it. All right. So, edges, look. All right, guys. I'm going I'm going for it. I'm saying 10 because, the, look, so far we've seen the, the centering did not matter on the tents. I mean, it was borderline at best. And then these were centered, but I guess something else was wrong with them. So, we're going to go with 10. We figured it out. <laughs> it's a 10. Okay, that's, that's really great for first ed because... The centering does not look good on these. I really want I really want to get somebody to check these and see what the uh, the actual ratio is. Okay, so off-centered a little bit. But if you think about 60-40, the 60 is 50% wider than the 40. So it's a lot. It's a it's a whole lot. So it's going to look bad. I I never really even thought about how much of a difference that is to be honest until somebody said that and I was like, "Oh, maybe that maybe that does make sense." This is a forceful century, I think. Yep. I think the centering was similar. Actually, wait. That centering's pretty good. I feel like I thought this was a 9 for some reason. Maybe it had something on it. Okay, it's centered. <laughs> and centering has always been the opposite of what we thought. So, I don't know. Maybe it is a 9. We're going to find out. It's a 10. He got two 10s. That's awesome. Four out of six, we got 10s. That's actually really good. And I still am baffled by these. I wonder if we can figure anything out. Wait, let's see if I can see anything. Okay, I did. Okay, I did find this on the. Is this Banisher? Yeah, Banisher. 
I think it's right. Yeah, you can see that right there. There's a little bit of extra card there. Doesn't seem like it should make it a nine, but maybe that's part of it. Like there's there's that, and then there's maybe something else. I do see a little like speck in there. I can't. I don't remember if that was on the card before though. It looks just kind of like some debris that got in there. Yeah. So looks like a <laughs> looks like a pretty decent nine. It does have a couple of issues, but not really much. And for this black pendant, I, I see like some junk in there, but I feel like that came from PSA themselves. I'm not really sure um, what exactly that is. And there you guys see that like couple white dots. I don't know, but overall pretty good submission. I'm happy for everyone who wants stuff on whatnot to get some tins. So that way they got some, you know, pretty epic cards out of it. We didn't get the blue ice tune in that opening. So at least we got some PSA tins, but that was a little bit of a weird one. Uh, I've not seen them that, you know, recently they seem to have calmed down on being so strict on centering, which it's nice that it's not 50, 50 because their rule is 40 or 60, 40 and seeing people like, like my flame wingman when it got a nine because of basically centering and it it had this centering i mean it had a little bit better actually so i i was pretty upset about that so i am glad that they are a little bit more lenient on centering because personally i don't think centering really affects the eye appeal that much i know some people are really obsessive about centering it's got to be right in the middle but personally for me it's like i mean as long as the card is like flawless besides that i think I mean, I don't really care. I'm like, it looks really good to me. So let me know your opinions on centering in the comments because it's always what we're talking about, PSA. We're always talking about how centered. They should have given it a nine, should have given it a 10. Centering was better than I thought. This one was worse than I thought. You know, just give me your opinions down there. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!